This is Jay Big Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to upgrade your power supply in your Precision T3600, T3610, T5600, or T5610 workstation. Um, so, if you've never heard of GreenPCGamers.com, uh, check us out. Um, you go right to our website, GreenPCGamers.com. Um, the most popular place to go here is the blog page, especially if you have uh, T3600, T3610, T5600 or T5610 workstation. Um, you can go to our blog and search any of those models and you will find articles like this awesome Precision T3610 gaming computer. And we show you tons of awesome upgrade ideas uh, like processors, memory, um, NVMe, uh, graphics cards, a bunch of cool upgrade options um, that, you can, that you can use to upgrade your workstation. Um, we also have this awesome thing called Share Your Build. Um, you can click on that and you can uh, share your build with us. And if you are located in the lower 48 states, we'd love to send one of these GreenPCGamers.com stickers um, to you for free. Um, so let's get to our actual install. Now we're going to install a 1300 watt power supply. And it we have tested it in the T3600, T3610, T5600, or T5610 workstation. So this is kind of a game changer because... It allows you to install uh, more components that require higher wattage. Um, and we'll say, why Why would you want to install a 1300 watt power supply? Well, mainly, mainly because you can install a bunch of big bad graphics cards in your system. Basically, whatever you can fit in the chassis. So that's the main reason why we do it. So here's a little, It's this is a little disclaimer. Um, we only have 10 hours of testing into the 1300 watt power supply into these specific workstations. Um, and something that you should know, um, if you have a support contract or warranty on your current system, um, you may want to wait or, or not do this upgrade just in case there are unknown issues that you might run into. Um, if you do this install and uh, you have, and it works perfectly or it doesn't work for you, uh, make sure and comment below. Your feedback is, is really important because um, although we have 10 hours of testing into it, which is great, uh, we still need uh, you guys to chip in um, and let us know how well it worked for you. All right, so we have tested two power supplies, um, uh, the part numbers, um, and they originally pulled from a Precision T7610 workstation, um, and the part numbers are 09JX5 or MF4M5. If you found another 1300 watt power supply that works, um, and there's, and you have that part number, please share it with us in the comments below. We would love to know about other part numbers that work as well. All right. So this is actually a T3610 workstation. And this is what we're going to use for the video to show you how we install it. This originally had a 6085 watt power supply and we're going to go ahead and upgrade it to the 1300 watt. So this is how you remove your old power supply. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. So here's our 685 watt power supply. And here is the 1300 watt and the 685 watt side by side. So if you want to pause this and do a little comparison on these power supplies, physically they're, they're about the same size. Um, the pinout or the connection is a little bit different as you can see. But What's really important is do does the 1300 watt power supply work? So we're gonna show you how to install it. There it is, 1300 watt, and it just slides right in, just like just like the other power supply would have. So that's how you install it. Now, also in this video, we're gonna show you we installed the GTX 1080 Ti graphics card, and normally we wouldn't put a 1080 Ti in the system because 685 watt is just not quite enough for a 1080 Ti plus all the other components that you would normally put in a T3610. I mean, you, you might even put a 150 watt processor into the system. Um, and the 1080 Ti has the capability of running, in some cases, well into the 300 watts. Um, it may draw that. So um, if, you, if you only had the 685 watt power supply, and you had a 1080 Ti installed, um, there's a possibility that you may have uh, intermittent shutdowns or other issues because of how much power that uh, the graphics card can draw. Um, so we 
for this build, we um, we installed one of these graphics cards, and uh, we, we did run some benchmarks that we'll show you later on in the video. So here's how we connected the graphics card. Uh, we have dual six pin to a single A pin, and then to get our other six pin adapter, we did a SATA to six pin. We stole from one of the uh, hard drive slots. So that's how we got enough power to do that. Now, I mean, you could potentially add another graphics card if you had room for it um, because the 1300 watt power supply really gives you a lot of flexibility. Now, we haven't tested this system with an additional graphics card. So if you were able to uh, do this install and, and you put like multiple 1080s in there or a 1080 and a 1070, uh, let us know that you've done that. Let us know if it's working perfectly uh, or not. Uh, we definitely want to know um, how it's working for you. Okay, so here's our 1080 Ti. It's installed. We're going to put our side panel back on. And then we're going to go through and share our benchmarks, benchmark results with you. So we went through and tested um, the system with a couple different benchmarks. Well, the first one was Furmark. Um, we put it on a 1440 test, and it, it gave us a, an easy 150, 115 frames per second, uh, which is pretty good. I mean... Um, that's, you know, what we're looking for. Uh, and then we ran a di or a benchmark with, uh, a test called heaven, um, or heaven. I don't know how you want to pronounce it, but, uh, we got, we got to 140 frames per second on that test. Um, it, the, the GPU did get fairly hot. Um, it got, well, at the end it got up to 77 degrees, which is, which is sustainable. Um, but the really important thing is that the, system did not randomly shut down like it possibly could have with a 685 watt power supply. Um, so um, from our testing, the 1300 watt power supply uh, appears to have, um, you know, be working just fine in this T3610. And we run these tests as well on the, the other models that we, that we uh, shared um, at the start of the video. So big, big thing, no random shutdowns. If this video was helpful to you, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Um, also, like GreenPCGamers.com uh, for monthly giveaways on Facebook. Um, all you have to do is like our Facebook page and you will qualify for that. Um, also, please comment if you have any experience with installing this power supply, um, uh, good or bad. We definitely want to hear your feedback. Thank you so much for watching.